Good morning, it's Tuesday, which means it's time for a tutorial, and today we're looking at the Phantom blockchain. It's a DAG, a direct acyclic graph. It's been blowing up in the charts. There's a lot of reasons why, but mainly it's just fast and cheap, like all the other layer ones and layer twos that we've been looking at. But you've been calling out for more options to go and get the fast. So we're gonna be looking at today how to bridge assets over there, swapping from ETH to Phantom, how to set up your RPC on MetaMask so that you can actually see the Phantom network, and then doing a basic swap on SpookySwap, which is the aptly named DEX on Phantom. All of that coming up after this message from our sponsors. Nexo.io is a trusted and easy to use crypto lending and exchange platform where you can buy cryptocurrencies at the touch of a button and start earning up to 17% annual interest that's paid out daily. They support all of the major assets on the market, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, and Polkadot, and allow you to swap one asset for another with lightning speed. With Nexo, you can buy crypto with your Visa and MasterCard credit or debit card instantly and start earning on your digital assets right away. You can also borrow cash and stable coins tax efficiently against your digital assets without selling them. Nexo complies with the highest security standards and is audited in real time, which is why nearly 3 million people in over 200 countries trust the platform with their digital assets. So whether you're just getting started or you're a seasoned pro, get the most out of your crypto today at nexo.io. What's that? New sponsor? Do a new message? Sure, lovely. Back the money truck up. Potion helps you manage risk within the DeFi space. For example, you can buy insurance on the price of Ethereum at $3,000. And if Ethereum goes below that, well, you're gonna be protected. One thing that's new and exciting about Potion is that you can now fully customize the length and level of your protection so you can get exactly what you want. Potion uses a new generation of derivatives mathematics based on the Kelly criterion, which ensures long-term survival for LPs. It's also been designed to be accessible to everyone and has a smooth and slick UX. The insurance policies created are fully collateralized on chain, everything's public, transparent, and the smart contracts respond automatically to risk. Finally, the project will be launched in a rather interesting and novel way that's completely decentralized from the get-go. The launch will be based on an NFT on-chain game, which will enable the community to come together and decrypt the protocol. If you want to know more about it, join the community on Discord and follow them on Twitter. So Phantom, it's a layer one and it has a bunch of cool stuff. We're gonna be doing a whole deep dive into Phantom on Friday, so no need to get into the nitty gritty. Let's just get into the good stuff. So what is Phantom? Phantom is, it's not a blockchain. It's a directed acyclic graph and Directed acyclic graphs use vertices and edges to assemble information, unlike blockchains, which just put one block after another block after another block. And that means that they can organize data in a very interesting way that should make them fast, should make them cheap, but it also makes them complex. So it's very high performance. It uses the ABFT consensus protocol. And the Lachesis is the name of that consensus algorithm. And again, we're going to be going into all of this on Friday, but the network token itself is the FDM token. That's the primary token. That's the one we're going to be interested in because as you should know by now, unless you have the network token, you can't really do much on a network. So we're going to need that if we want to go play on Phantom. So why would we go onto Phantom? Well, Transfers are almost instantaneous. They're very, very fast and cost a fraction of a cent. We'll see just how cheap it is to actually perform a transaction on Phantom in a bit. Uh, it's very scalable. DAGs, in principle, should be incredible because they organize, way, organize data in a way that is very um, intricate and flexible. And it's just a lot more um, capable of scaling up than blockchains are, in theory, in theory. Um, remains to be seen how well that works under massive load, but in theory, they should be. Um, the good thing about Phantom is, is it's EVM compatible, so you can deploy and run Ethereum dApps there. And that also means that we can set up MetaMask to work there as well. And DeFi on Phantom has just blown up. It's been around quite a long time, this chain, but for various reasons, it's just caught flight. And as you can see, Andre Cronier there sitting behind, it's one of the most famous developers in the DeFi world, Phantom is his home. Uh, he loves Phantom and he's building all sorts of interesting things for Phantom. So the Phantom ecosystem looks like this. It's pretty well built out actually, and that's probably a large result of um, Andre being there. There's plenty of wallets, 
tons of decks is the usual um, ones you would see there. Curve Sushi represented, and then Spooky Swap that we're going to be looking at. Yearn is there uh, for obvious reasons. And then there's a bunch of bridges. And as we looked at last week with Metis, there's, the, the whole bridge ecosystem is being built out rapidly. It's becoming easier and easier and easier to bridge using one unified interface. And hopefully at some point, all of that will just disappear under the surface. You will say, I want to send this token and use it over here, and it'll just happen. We're not there yet. But at some point it will. So here's today's agenda for the tutorial. We're going to require the Phantom token on ETH mainnet because I'm assuming that most people are coming from ETH mainnet. We're going to bridge to Phantom using multi-chain, although we're not actually for reasons I will explain. And then we're going to do a simple swap on Spooky Swap and see how cheap and fast it actually is. So the first thing we're going to do is move some funds over to Phantom, and we'll need to have a wallet set up for this. If you're on MetaMask, this will be easy as the Phantom RPC connects very easily, and you'll be able to use the same wallet address on the Phantom network. Very straightforward to set up. Just click the Setup MetaMask on Phantom Link to find the instructions. Next, you're going to click on MetaMask, and then the Ethereum network at the top, and there you'll be able to add a new network. So in the network name, type Phantom Opera. For the RPC URL, it's https colon forward slash forward slash rpc.ftm.tools. The chain ID will be 250, the symbol FTM, and the block explorer URL is https colon forward slash forward slash ftmscan.com. Click save, and then you're good to go. You can check your connected networks list next to the circle icon in the top right, you will need this later. Now, I'm going to assume you're starting with ETH here, but this could work just as well with USDC or BSC or any of the tokens supported by the multi-chain bridge. However, just last night, we discovered there was actually an exploit on multi-chain, so we're going to avoid it for now and just use the spooky swap bridge itself. We could bridge ETH over to Phantom, but there are two things to consider here. Firstly, you're always going to need that native protocol token to pay for transactions on the chain. So I usually try and start there. In this case, that'll be the FTM token. Secondly, you can't actually send native ETH to Phantom. You'd need to send wrapped ETH. So if you're going to bother making more than one transaction, you might as well go for the one that can help you the most. So that is the FTM token. So today I'll be swapping using one inch. Select ETH to swap from. Type FTM into the list and select the Phantom token. Type in the amount you want to swap and you'll see one inch spits out a comparison with Uniswap. There's actually no difference for this trade, but if we were to select USDC, you would see a small difference. Make sure your wallet is connected, click swap, confirm the swap, then sign the transaction in MetaMask. And this should take no more than a few minutes to complete. So let's head to Spooky Swap, select the bridge tab and set it up to swap from ETH to Phantom. Change the token to bridge to FTM and then make sure to connect your wallet. Also make sure you are in fact connected to the right network. We need Ethereum here. Next, you're going to have to approve Phantom. So as you can see here, the Phantom liquidity is actually very low right now. And that means that bridging is probably going to be slow. Only 50 FTM can go across. It should be around 10 minutes normally, but there is so much interest in traffic flowing into Phantom right now that they're actually low on funds. So to get around this, I cheated. I swapped on Binance and used the FTM network withdrawal option to get my Phantom tokens to the right place in time for this tutorial. Just remember to use dApps on FTM on the Phantom Opera network, your tokens will need to be on the Phantom chain. So now we're on Spooky Swap. We have Phantom tokens and we can go play on the chain to see how fast it is and how much a transaction costs. So here we are on Spooky Swap. And I have to say, it's quite a fun little exchange, this. I like the way it's designed. It's, I mean, you know deep down that if you click the swap button, it's going to look exactly like Uniswap because it's almost definitely a Uniswap clone. And hey, presto, look at that. That's exactly what we have here. You've got your usual uh, liquidity um, portion here. You can add liquidity. You can farm once you have added liquidity to various pools. It's the same stuff we expect to see. Not crazy big um, APYs here, but you know enough to keep someone interested. And then you can stake the BOO, which is their native token, which you will earn for staking and all of that good stuff pretty much as you would expect. And we're interested in the swap side. So we're just going to do a really basic swap. So I've got my Phantom on here that I sneakily swapped on Binance. Sorry about that. It's just had to. And we're going to swap it from Phantom to DAI. And what I'm also going to do here is um, click on this slippage button here and just select 0 0.5. If I select 0 0.1, it will tell me that my transaction may fail. 
The slippage is basically how much um, the price can move uh, without triggering a fail in the trade. And like in times of high volatility, you're quite likely to fail. But you know you can play around with this and see if you can get away with it. What I do like here is expert mode. If we click on expert mode, this pops up. We get charts and we get a lot more data to enable us to perform this trade. So what we're going to do now is just connect our wallet to Phantom. So remember, we're going to click up here, click on the Phantom Opera network, and now we're on the right network for this, and we're good to go. So let's switch back to normal mode, because this is how most people will um, do this. But it's kind of nice to know that that expert mode is there, even if it is hidden in the settings. So we're just going to do a straight swap from Phantom to Die. So just going to swap 50 Phantom to Die. Slippage at 0.5%, and the price impact it's telling me is going to be 0.01%. The fee is going to be 0.1 Phantom, and if we look at the Phantom price, what is it today? $2.89. So that slippage is going to be just a little under 30 cents. Sorry, that uh, fee is going to be a little under 30 cents. So we click on swap, sign the transaction. And it's done. Wow, that was quick. Hasn't even been included in the block yet, but, oh yeah, let's have a look again. There it is. Done, success. And 12 block confirmations literally in that short amount of time. That was very, very, very fast indeed. Very impressive, very impressive. And it cost 30 cents. Now, is that cheap? Well, it's not cheap, cheap. I mean, under a cent is cheap, 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 but, for the speed, for the convenience, yeah, not bad. And like all of these things, it's like go and explore on Phantom and see what's being built there. It's The DeFi ecosystem is, is rapidly being built out and we'll dig into that more on Friday. But definitely I'm finding it more and more interesting to go and play on other chains and go and explore those ecosystems because it's just a lot cheaper and contemplating even just doing a tutorial on a chain like this is so much easier now that I, I'm not thinking about spending, you know, sometimes I'm spending three, $400 just to demonstrate something. That's ridiculous. So there you go. That's Spooky Swap. That's Phantom. Stay tuned for our big film on Friday, all about the Phantom ecosystem. Should be fun. Andre's building a ton of cool stuff. And as we know, he tests in production and he builds fast. So I look forward to that. And if you have any suggestions for tutorials or other layer ones you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments below. I will see you on the next one. Peace out, yeah. Thank you.